Al Yaffe readily admits he's got a little bit of outlaw in him. And riding with him on one of his custom-made creations, I believe it. But what made a group of mild-mannered people on a committee promoting Arizona's 100th anniversary turn to him? The Centennial Commission, they were looking for a Centennial mascot, and I'm sure they were, I wasn't in the meetings, but I'm Wait, sure they were bouncing around. Me as the mascot? Uh, <laughs> I am. I'm offended. <laughs> the state could have chosen any mascot it wanted. This was big. They didn't want a run-of-the-mill horse or cactus. They wanted a copper chopper. I was commissioned by the state of Arizona to build it to uh, raise awareness for our centennial, uh, which is coming up February 14th, 2012. The copper chopper uh, is on tour right now. Uh, it's touring the state, uh, heading out to every corner of the state uh, to raise awareness of the Arizona Centennial. Um, it's built entirely from Arizona copper and Arizona materials. Yeah, I love this. It's got kind of that western, it's, it's kind of, it's very edgy mm -hmm. and, you know, very sort of hip and looking forward, which is what the Centennial is also about. It's not just about looking back at the last hundred years, it's also pushing forward to the next hundred years. So you've got, but it seems like you you did a little bit of both. It definitely has some Arizona uh, nods to it with the different, the, the state seal, the state logos, the flags built into the wheels, to the tank. When Paul began putting plans for the chopper in place, he looked to the past for a little inspiration. Uh, Lucius de Copeland uh, is an inventor, a uh, creator from the 1800s, and he built a steam-powered motorcycle uh, in the, in the uh, early 1800s and, un and unveiled it at the Arizona State Fair, which is 100 years later where I unveiled this to uh, Governor Jan Brewer. Um, when we found out this little piece of history, a great little cool piece of history, we went looking for his patents and his designs and were very inspired uh, by his stuff. Paul says he and his crew worked on this instant classic right up until an hour before it was scheduled to debut. And now all of you get a chance to make his fantastic creation yours. So anybody out there yes, can true. go ahead and buy a raffle ticket yep. and someone is actually going to win this bike. There will, we'll have a new owner uh, February 14th, 2012. Wow. Yeah, that's exciting. That is really exciting. The bike, like the rock star that it is, will be touring the state for most of the year. And Paul Yaffe will continue to blow people's minds with his interpretations of rideable art.